My name is Gabriel Shaw, a data analyst at the Bob Africa. I have come up with some guidelines to assist you on your journey to data analytics. Before we dive into it though, let's take a rundown of what data analytics is and the skills and qualifications necessary to become a data analyst. Data analytics is the science of analysis. It entails analyzing raw data to locate and examine trends to give answers or solutions to problems and optimize processes to increase the overall efficiency of a problem or a system. Data analytics has become increasingly critical in analyzing and shaping business processes and improving decision making and business results. Any type of information can be subjected to data analytical techniques to reveal trends or metrics that would otherwise be lost in the mass of information. It is a discipline focused on extracting insight from data and it comprises the processes, tools, and techniques of data analysis and management, including data collection, organization, and storage. So what differentiates a data analyst from a data scientist anyway? While data analysts are often confused with data scientists, they are actually different roles. Data scientists are focused on developing new tools and methods to extract information the organization or business requires to solve complex problems. They analyze large set of structured and unstructured data and interpret the results to develop actionable plans. They do this by applying mathematical and statistical knowledge and the skills of a hacker to approach problems in innovative ways. Basically, a data scientist may design how a data is stored, manipulated, and analyzed, while a data analyst makes sense of existing data. So what does a data analyst do exactly? Since you now know what a data analyst would concern themselves with, you should know that data analysts do more than analyze information. They are also responsible for what happens to the collected data. Yes, one of the primary goal of a data analyst is to increase efficiency and improve performance by discovering patterns in data. To achieve this, they mine and clean data from primary and secondary sources. Some typical duties of a data analyst include using advanced computerized model to extract the data needed, performing initial analysis to assess the quality of the data, conducting further research to determine the meaning of the data, performing final analysis to provide additional data screening, preparing a report based on analysis and presenting them to management or the rest of the team. And the list goes on and on. There are a variety of tools that data analysts use daily. They use business intelligence software like SAS, Microsoft Power BI, and Tableau. They also use programming languages and tools with various statistical and visualization libraries, such as Python, R and SQL. Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets is also part of their tools. What qualification do you need to become a data analyst? Generally, I would recommend getting a degree in mathematics, computer science, or a related field. But while a degree will definitely give you an advantage, you can also become a data analyst without it. To kick off your journey to becoming a data analyst, you should learn SQL. Hard and Excel. Picking up helpful skills like creative and analytical thinking, communication, data querying, data mining, data cleaning would also come in handy. You can take courses online, join a fellowship, or a boot camp to help your learning process. You may also consider entry level professional certification as they teach you basic skills and give you opportunities to work on projects to boost your portfolio. You should also consider gaining work experience by volunteering or internships. They will drastically improve your skills as well as knowledge of data analysis tools. So what kind of businesses need a data analyst? Data analytics is not only restricted to the tech industry. Several sectors and industry have adopted it. The travel and hospitality industry appears to be one of the newest to use data analytics to collect and collate customer data and solve any problems. 
The health care sector uses the data analytics to combine high volume of structured and unstructured data to help make quick decisions. Data analytics is now applied in aviation, banking, retail, agriculture, real estate, telecommunication, government institution, and so much more. You are probably asking now, is data analytics a lucrative career? <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, skilled data analysts are some of the most sought after professional globally because the demand is so strong and the supply of people who can do the job is limited. So if you are weighing your options and you need extra push, well, I'll be the first to push you to tell you data analysts have a brighter career outlook. They command huge salaries and excellent pay even at the entry level. Data analytics also opens doors to other career paths such as data science. Data analytics is also incredibly rewarding as it is solving some of humanity's most pressing problems. By analyzing data, data analysts significantly contribute to medical research, fight global warming, and help underdeveloped countries combat poverty. So this career path doesn't just pay well, it feels good. The fact is, the world needs more skilled data analysts. And by watching this video, you are one step closer to becoming one. Check out our other videos and get more answers to all your questions regarding tech careers. Don't forget to subscribe and drop a comment on what you'd like to learn next. There's always more.